Hello Year 6, my name's Nikki and I work at the bookshop on South Street and one of my favourite books that I discovered last year is the first book in the Wild Magic Trilogy, Begone Raggedy Witches by Celine Kiernan. Um, it's terrific, it's dark, it's magical. I'll just read from the back for you. Mup's dad has been kidnapped by witches and Mup, along with her mam, brother and dog, must journey to an, an enchanted world to rescue him. Danger awaits them. Witch's Borough is a beguiling place of rhyming crows, talking cats and forbidden magic, ruled by a tyrannical queen and her band of raggedy witches. And Mam seems strange on this side of the border, striding, powerful and increasingly distant. Even if they can save her father, Mup knows that nothing will ever be the same again. There's a secret in the family that Mup doesn't know about, and that's why her mam is different when she's on this side of the border. They've gone through a magic portal into another world where witches are incredibly scary and she finds a friend who is a talking crow. I'm just going to read a little bit for you from one of the early chapters. At the far end of the long dark hall, a thin sliver of light shone through the partially open kitchen door. It reflected in Badger's toffee-coloured eyes as he looked up at Mup. You shouldn't follow me, she whispered. Go back to bed. But Badger just wagged his tail as if to say, I trust you. Mup put her hand on his arm, sorry, on his warm neck, and they walked up the hall together. There's nothing in this house that's going to hurt you, Mup. Mam always said that after a scary movie or a bad dream, when Mup would be afraid. The only thing here is love. Besides, ghosts and monsters are nothing to be afraid of. All the bad things in this world are done by people. But aren't witches a kind of people, thought Mup. If so, had Mam really invited them into their house? Mup swallowed hard, then pushed open the door. The big lights were off and the kitchen was dimly lit by the low lamps. Mam sat at the table, her hands limply folded, watching the moon through the window. The room was perfectly calm and still, the tock of the cabbage clock over the cooker, the only noise. Badger tick-ticked away across the tiles and lay down by the fridge. Mup remained on the threshold, her hand on the door handle, staring. The cold of the floor at Mup's feet told her that she was awake. The creature standing around Mam made her wish she was asleep. It is quite dark, but in a good way, and it's a fantastic adventure. And there's another two books that follow this one. I highly recommend it if you like magic, mystery, danger, adventure.